Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So on Thursday we got an update for the DJI Fly app. It has now brought it to version 1.9.4. And for the most part this update added support for the new mini drone, the DJI Mini 2 SE. Now if you already own a drone, this drone isn't really something to get too excited about. It's not in any way an upgrade. Unless you have something like the original DJI Mini SE. Then with it, you're going to get a bit of an upgrade when it comes to transmission, as it will now be OcuSync 2. On top of that, it's not really readily available in most countries. If you take a look at the US or the Canadian DJI store, it just says it's not available. However, if you switch over to a place like Australia, you can see that it is listed there. So it may not be released in North America at all. I think the original Mini SE was supposed to be the same, but they did end up releasing it in North America, so the Mini 2 SE may be the same. Now if we take a look at the release notes, you can see here that it says it fixes certain issues and optimizes overall app quality. It doesn't really tell us a lot of information, a lot of times these updates DJI doesn't really go into detail about what they're fixing. On top of that, we also got a firmware update for the DJI RC. Now this came a day later, the following day, and basically with it, if we take a look at the release notes, it just states that it's fixed some minor bugs. And of course, on top of that, it did bring the DJI Fly app up to the 1.9.4. Now with the DJI RC, it's a complete system update. However, if you do own the DJI RC Pro, the Fly app update is available for it as well. However, with it, it's not a full system update. It's just an update for the Fly app. All you have to do is power on the controller and it should prompt you to install the Fly app update. In this video, I'm just going to take the Mini 3 for a quick test flight just to make sure everything's performing as it should. Unfortunately, sometimes when we get these app updates, it does introduce problems. So we're just going to go for a quick test and see if there's anything that pops up right away. Now, I must apologize. It is kind of a miserable day out. It's overcast. It's a little cold and windy. So the footage is not going to be spectacular by any means. But really, I'm just out testing anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We don't even really have that much snow either. We haven't had much snow this winter. When we do get it, it tends just to melt right away. But yeah, so we'll just go for a bit of a flight here. And uh, while I'm flying it, I'm going to be testing some of the intelligent flight modes, such as point of interest, spotlight, perhaps we'll do a panorama, and we'll check out a few other things as well. I did take a quick look through the menu system, and I didn't find anything that stood out right away that was different. Of course, sometimes it takes a little bit of a deeper look to really notice those little details. If it was anything major, DJI would have listed it. But you can see here on the DJI RC, if we go over to the About section, you can see that the app version is the 1.9.4. Now at this point, what we'll do is maybe do a quick panorama. I'll put it over into the uh, photo mode and then we'll select panorama. And we'll just make sure that everything is working the way it should. We'll just fast forward it a little bit here. And as you can see with the panorama, there was no issue at all. Now what we're going to do here is just select the train bridge. And uh, we'll test out focus track, mainly point of interest and spotlight. So we'll start with point of interest. We've got the train bridge selected and I'll start with a counterclockwise rotation and it looks like everything is performing the way it should. This Mini 3 is actually pretty incredible with some of its capabilities. It's actually fairly breezy today, but uh, you know, the rotation around at the point of interest still looks really good. Now at this point we'll switch directions just to make sure everything is working as intended and it does appear that everything is working okay. Now again with the bridge still selected we'll use the spotlight feature so we're just going to use the sticks and fly around a bit just to make sure it stays locked onto the bridge and as you can see here looks like it's working just as intended again another nice feature of the mini 3. now this is actually my second flight with this new firmware and the new dji fly app and that first flight i didn't notice anything and i'm not noticing any problems with this flight so I think it's pretty well safe to say for the Mini 3 anyways to go ahead and update it. Now there was no firmware for the drone itself. This is strictly firmware for the DJI RC and the Fly app. So you don't have to update the drone itself or any of the batteries. Now at this point I'm just flying around a little bit just making sure that everything is behaving as expected. And of course I didn't really find anything that stood out as a problem. Now just before I bring it home I thought I would check out the return to home just to make sure it's functioning correctly. So we'll just use the button on the screen there and we'll initiate it. And as you can see, the drone turns around right away and starts heading back home. We'll fast forward it a little bit. And as you can see, I took off from the roof of my truck there, or my car, I should say, and it's right above it and it's starting to descend. So the return to home seems to work okay as well. So with that, I'm just going to go ahead and land the drone and then uh, we'll finish up here. In my test flight, I didn't find any issues. 
so it's probably safe to go ahead and update. I will be doing another test flight tomorrow with the Mavic 3 and the Air 2S with the DJI RC, just to make sure that they perform as expected with these new updates as well. Again, for the DJI RC, it's a whole system firmware update that you need to download. For the RC Pro, it's just the app, the DJI Fly app that gets updated. And of course, if you're just using the RC in one with a smartphone, you just have to update the app from the App Store if you're using an iPhone. I'm assuming it is available on the DJI website for download as well. Well, folks, that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.